Yo, what's up you guys? Thanks for joining me today. And uh, we are about to head out to Home Depot, picking up stuff to work on the remodel for the garage and the transition of my office and consolidating everything in there in support of me streaming and just having a more central location for all my work. The goal today and tomorrow is to get the project to the point where we are ready to do finish work. Lots of cool, exciting shit to do, and I can't wait to show it to you all. I'm gonna bounce right now, head out to Home Depot, and get everything that we need for this first phase, and I'll see you guys at intermission. Right, we are at the halfway point. We've gotten the wall built. We've got insulation up on the ceiling. We're almost done. We've got a little stretch to do here on the south end side of the garage, but we're really close to being completed with that. And we made our last Home Depot run. So far, everything's gone really smooth and I'm really happy with how things are going. I'll give you a little tour here just to show you where things are at at this point. First up is the wall, which is just about complete. The only area that we've left open is where my my AC and heater is gonna go and I'm gonna have to drill a hole through the wall and uh, run cabling and refrigerator piping through here so I'm gonna be showing you the process of me doing that today so that's gonna be fun to finish here's where the insulation is at and we're just about finished here we're actually gonna pin up some nice black fabric I thought about putting sheetrock up on the ceiling to cover it not only would it be a lot more work but I'd have to add soundproofing up on there as well to dampen the reflections in the room which I really don't want to do. So that's going to be the ceiling. It's turning out great. I'm kind of redesigning my scoring table here as well. I added foldable legs underneath it and I'm going to be changing some of the things that are on top of it so that they're more permanent and won't fall off when I fold it up and put it up against the wall to save space in the room when I'm filming other stuff. Oh, I almost forgot. The last thing is I am going to be mounting my Left 4 Dead 2 safe room door up onto the frame right here. The door actually came from our upstairs, which was remodeled attic space. So the dimensions of the door are smaller because it's a custom design. So the plan is to mount a barn door hinge up here that will allow me to just slide the safe room door back and forth. All right, that's the intermission update, you guys. I'm gonna get back to it and uh, we'll take a pause again on the other side and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done. Uh, and tell you what my final thoughts are before part two comes out where uh, we start really making this thing look dope and bringing all my gear out here. Let's get back to it. one of the garage remodel is complete you guys and we actually got a little bit further than I was originally expecting 
and I couldn't be more happy with the results. Let me give you guys a 360 tour and talk a little bit about what we did and how it turned out. Let's start with the ceiling where we put a black fabric up to cover the insulation instead of using sheetrock. The main reason for doing this was to cut down on acoustic reflections in the room, which can be really bad in the garage. And I've struggled with this issue in the past. I wasn't exactly sure how it would turn out and I was a little bit concerned about how it would look but it turned out awesome, you guys. It really cuts down the echo and natural reverb in the room, which I wanted, and it ended up looking way better than I thought it would, so I'm really happy with this. Here's a shot of the test chamber, which we didn't make any changes to, but man, it just looks good. <laughs> Over here is my scoring set, which I ended up dismantling and rebuilding on the actual wall here, which turned out really good. Next up, of course, is the new wall and AC heater unit that I installed. And this turned out awesome, you guys. There's a few really important things that I needed this to achieve as well. And the first thing is to cut down on noise coming from the road. The other thing I needed it to achieve was to really help with keeping the temperature balanced in here. A big contributor to that as well is the badass Mr. Cool AC and heater unit that I installed. It works really good and it is quiet. So when it's really hot in the summers, it'll keep this place cool. And when it's cold in the winter, it'll keep me nice and toasty. And last but not least, and what's probably my favorite addition to the room, is the Left 4 Dead 2 safe room door. I'm so happy to get to use this again, you guys. I put a lot of love into building it for a game and a genre that I absolutely love. The barn door hinge is slick and it fits the room perfectly. I couldn't be more happy with how it turned out. I just love this prop so much. And that's it for phase one of the remodel, you guys. Part two will be coming out in a couple weeks. I'm actually waiting for some badass networking here to get here. So I'm hitting pause on the remodel and I'm about to head in and go build my new computer. And I'm gonna be doing a full PC build video of that to share the whole experience with you guys. Uh, and then I've got a review coming for Weird West. So stay tuned, you guys. A lot of badass shit coming. Thank you again. And I'll see you guys on the next Curve Garage. Peace.